In this video we want to talk about our distributive property for exponents. Recall we have a distributive property for multiplication that says, hey, if you have a times a quantity b plus c, right, we can multiply through a times b and a times c. Right, we've used that many, many, many times in many examples. Uh, well, it turns out there's also a distributive property for exponents. Turns out there's also a distributive property for exponents. Uh, and to see how this distributive property works, let's consider an example. Here I have a quantity AB raised to the third power. And so we want to know, well, how do I handle that? Well, first of all, let's go with the definition. AB to the third means AB times AB times AB three times. Now that's all multiplication. Remember, when a variable is next to a variable, that's multiplication. So what we can do is use our properties of multiplication here to rewrite this. Uh, we can rearrange it so that all the A's are together and all the B's are together. All right? Multiplication is what we call commutative. Uh, is what we call commutative. So we can rearrange them. And then A written out three times is just A to the third. B written out three times is just B to the third. And so what we see here is that the exponents actually end up distributing across the multiplication problem or if we had a division problem it would work the same way. Exponents will distribute across a multiplication or a division problem. So let's see an example of this. Let's see an example of this. Uh, consider the quantity 5x to the fourth raised to the third. So using this uh, distributive property for exponents, we can distribute that 3 through and have 5 to the third, and then also x to the fourth to the third. Now 5 to the third, 5 is a number, so we can work that out. 5 times itself, 3 times, be 125. And now we're back to our power rule from before. We have x to the fourth raised to the third power, so something with a power raised to a power. And remember we drop down one operation from powers down to multiplication and we would multiply the exponents 4 times 3 and get x to the 12th. Get x to the 12th. Now before we go on and look at some more examples there's one really important idea I have to point out here. Okay. And that is that exponents do not distribute over addition and subtraction. Okay, multiplication does and exponents distribute over multiplication but it doesn't work this way. And we can see just a real simple example to see that's the case. So on the one hand consider the expression 1 plus 1 to the third power. 1 plus 1 to the third power. 1 plus 1 is 2. So that would be 2 to the third and 2 to the third is equal to 8. Okay, now watch what happens if we try to distribute the exponents. If we try to distribute the exponents, we'd have 1 to the third plus 1 to the third. But 1 to any power is just 1, so we would have 1 plus 1, which is just 2. And 2 is not the same as 8. So it turns out we cannot take exponents and bring them across an addition and subtraction problem. Uh, and that's actually going to be important a little later on we get into these objects called polynomials. Okay, but I wanted to point it out now so that we kind of have it ahead of time and we can look back to this fact later.